Leo! Welcome to your December read for this current year. How are you all doing? Wonderful, I hope. Leo, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. Just boop your nose and away it goes, right? There's no reason to quell on things that aren't about you because this is all about you. And if I don't hit you, then, you know, like, I must miss you, which is terrible on my part, right? Remember... Uh, I like dropping F-bombs and cursing all the time, so if that shit bothers you, you might want to leave, because, you know, you can offend will hurt yourself more than will me, I promise you that much. Uh, newcomers, if you want a personal read, all the info is in the description box below. First reading's on the house, and I do take tips and donations. Thank you for your kindly in advance. You're not getting the message! That's your energy. It feels like I'm waiting for something, but I'm not fucking hearing it, and it's driving you nuts. And in the situation, it's like it's a burden that you can't let go of, right? We already got a book, but hold on. Your wants and wishes getting scalded. Oh, you like that kinky shit? Like, what? <laughs> um, the decision needs to be made. You guys either keep digging or you can cry over those onions. Um, there's some sort of thing that's starting to end for y'all. Possibly with an earth sign who isn't delivering what you want. You might be delving in the works, trying to get something to happen to get this love going, but a door might be closing. Leo, are you nagging somebody to the point where they don't even want to listen to you anymore? Because I, I almost feel like that's a little bit of you, but I, I feel like you're justified in doing it because you got your reasons. But it's like they're not wanting to hear it anymore. The obstacle and challenge down here is... Well, someone withholding more than they should and letting somebody beg. Which is like kind of emulating down here. You know, like you're wanting to go after somebody almost because I do feel like this is you. But if you do that, it's a completely, I mean, is it balanced? Um, are you really giving this person what it is that they need while holding back so much? Or is there something else going on here? I don't know. Fears and rejections. Risks. Terrible, terrible risks. Down below is the Emperor. Arius's car trying to stomp on that devil, even though the devil just went in to go and get a cheeseburger at like McDonald's. Being like, what the fuck did I do? I wasn't even doing anything. It's a goddamn Sunday. I'm off. Shit. <laughs> Ten of Cups is the beginning theme, y'all. Mm. Sorry, I have my phone plugged in and someone dung and I wanted to see who it was. Because, you know, I'm a hopeless romantic and I was hoping it was my husband. But oh well. Leo, you might be holding back, and that might not be a good thing. I mean, if you're holding back on something that's valuable to this person, they might be seeing you as just going off on them for little things. Like, dude even brought a rose, but you're more upset about these cups being spilt. Hmm. You might... And I mean, like, the moon's there, so it's definitely something emotional, but it's also like, I don't know. Because these two are kind of doing the same thing, but for different perspectives. Like, this person could be seeing you as, like, not giving them what they need, and you could be seeing it as, like, they did something to piss you off. It's to two totally different perspectives right here. I mean, they could be doing it to you, too, as well, Leo and Crosswatcher, but I feel like this is, like, different points of view. Alright, up here with the eights. We got the Eight of Swords as well. Someone is getting the message and it's keeping them so bound that, that it's driving them nuts. It's like, I want out of here, but I feel like I can't do it on my own. And I just want to get away from this disaster. Could be with a Cancer, right? We got a book. Your intuition's on point, but you don't know what to do that's going to emotionally satisfy you and you think you're waiting for nothing, which is completely unfair in your point of view. Um, might be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Here's Fannie Mae, the Queen of 
pentacles, right? She's got her back turned and it looks like she might be looking to take a voyage, right? But not doing something is going to be a disastrous. You got to let your guard down, you know, open up with those emotions or someone's just going to keep their back turned in the entire thing. How interesting. Leo, I think you're dealing with somebody who, um, I don't think you know how to deal with them. Or something got shut off. Like, you're reacting emotionally-wise. This person seeing it as more of a material thing. It's like, you're upset with these emotions and shit, but they're not seeing that. They're seeing this as more of a... Like, you could be dealing with an earth sign who's seeing what you're doing. They might see you're nagging as a... a almost like... It's almost like they think it's control. It's like you're trying to control them and giving them a little bit at a time. And that it's almost like they don't see it as fair. And in your perspective, you might see it as completely fucking normal. As in like, you know, like, why don't you just say what the fuck you gotta say? And they're just like, why the fuck is this person yelling at me trying to get me to do something like this? I don't understand. Like, we're like, they don't, it's like you guys' emotions aren't on point. They don't see your emotion or they don't recognize what is or is not emotional. With this burden right here that you can't seem to let go of, it feels like a never-ending cycle or something's whack in the loop, right? And it feels like whatever you invested in just didn't work out in your favor. And you, you played yourself or they played themselves or one of the two, Leo and Crosswatcher. It's like they jailed themselves and now they want released. Wants and wishes with this Five of Cups. Um, someone isn't off. Okay, yeah, that's definitely emotional. Whoever's nagging, and I feel like it's more you, but I don't really know. I'm just making assumptions. Remember, I have no idea what the fuck's going on, so I'm just assuming whatever, right? But it's like it. What it was like I was saying before. It's like this action, this nagging, even though it's based on emotion, is coming off wrong, and I think that's why this person's seeing it so fucked up. They see it as control. You're seeing it as like just venting. I think. And it's leading to this crossroads where there isn't going to be any action taken. I had to drop that third one because it's like, what the fuck, man? Your obstacle and challenge down below, though. Yeah, this person feels like you're you're being controlling. And it's like, they're looking at it as like, is this the world I, bu I, I built? Because there needs to be a change right fucking meow, man. Right meow. You know. They feel like this isn't fulfilling to them, you know? Like, they're sad about how this is going with the Five of Cups, but they're ready to move on to New Cups. Um, though, it, that would require them, like, lying, you know, trying to make their candle brighter than the sun, which would be a bad judgment call. Lead to a lot of heartbreak, and then, like, Leo, you're probably gonna have to face the fucking devil. That's you and a Capricorn right there, because it's got the devil in there, and I think that's really cute. But it's like you're afraid to almost do that kind of shit, to approach, to deal with them. They might be fucking scary to you. But that's what, okay, yeah, I'm gonna drop another one, fuck it. Might as well. Yeah, bad judgment call. Whoever this person is you're dealing with, Leo and Crosswatcher, whatever it is, it's like, um, they don't see that what you're doing is like it's like you guys don't know how to connect or something or you don't know how to talk to each other or you can't read each other's emotions anymore it's like someone's in this level and someone's way below them it's like if we were talking about something somebody's more enlightened than the other and that's where the problem lies it's like one person seeing something more practically and the other person seeing it more emotionally but it's like who's who I mean this behavior right here could drive this person away is what I'm trying to say because they're seeing it in a completely different view from you it's like practical matters to them whereas with you it's like the emotions kind of take you over and it's like what the fuck alright these fears and rejections with this risk this risk could go very, very wrong. It's reversed. It might actually bite somebody in the ass. Uh, get somebody to cut something off. Based on the fact that someone lied. 
They try to make their candle brighter than the sun. But that's because they didn't really know what to do emotionally. Hmm. This is odd, Leo. I have to say. I'm just saying. It's odd. Alright, the Emperor down here. Someone's excessive control. They're delivering a bad package. It's an R. Kelly package. Came straight from the fucking closet, right? Whoever this is is really controlling. Ew, two threes. They're gonna deliver a terrible package because they ain't wanting to continue shit that ain't gonna lead to nothing. You know? It's weird. It's like this person, like, I don't know, if it is an earth sign in here, Leo and Crosswatcher, it's like this emperor is giving them something that's making them wanting to cut it off because it's nothing. Because it's a control thing. It's a control issue. I don't know who's doing this to you or if you're doing this to somebody else. It's whatever, but it's like kind of fucky. It's really some Jake shit. Oh, yeah. The ending theme. My bad. The ending theme for this. Ten of pe ten of the Ten of Cups was the beginning theme. Like, someone's not happy in this situation. That's because this dream's a nightmare. Ten of Cups. Twice. That's double energy. This is completely emotionally unfulfilling. And whatever this is right here, it's like two people are waving bye. It's like, bye, bitch. Bye, dick. You know? I don't want to see your face no more. It's like a disconnection. Up in this energy, yeah? It's like you gotta like let the you pour the cups out and let it go, because all it's doing is is creating a never-ending nightmare where you're slaying the same monster over and over again. In the situation, no, you definitely want to be victorious with another person, but it's the sneaky shit that's fucking you up. Like someone isn't being honest completely. Like, I think this person, they do want to be with you, Leo and Crosswatcher. They do. I think they love you to death. But there's something here where, you, like, you guys aren't seeing eye to eye. And I don't know. I'm going to ask afterwards how you guys can deal with that. Though. Up in the wants and wishes. Someone's draining that cup. They're just like, fuck it. Just going back in the water where you belong. That way I can embrace my love. Yeah, Leo, like... Leo and Crosswatcher, if you're the one, like, going after this person based on emotion or just nagging them about stuff on emotion, you actually have to express your emotions to them in order for them to come up and hug you. I think this person loves you, but I don't think they know that you love them. And I think that's the problem. That's why they're looking at what you're doing in a more practical sense rather than seeing it as emotion. It's like, oh, what, well, if Leo's like this all the time, I don't, I, I can't tell what they're doing. It's like, you know, like if you, I don't know, like my husband, he bitches a lot, right? I love that man to fucking death. But Lord, it's like he bitches a lot, a lot. And for me, it took a really long time for me to tell. And it's still even harder to this day to figure out if he is um, being emotional or if he's being practical. And Leo, I feel like in a way your person doesn't know that. And that's like why they're dumping their cup. Because it's just like, I thought that they loved me. Almost, you know, it's kind of that feeling. So I gotta, I can kind of relate because I'm married to my own little kitty cat. Oh, he's such a cute little kitty cat too. But it's like, I, I, I kind of see where the other person is coming from. Because it's like, if you don't know, it's really hard to tell. You know. Down below. Uh-oh. Someone might end up with an infection. Pests. Bugs. STD. Shit like that. Hmm. That's you, Leo, for sure. Being gentle with this person. Like, I think this person, like... Mm. Leo, I think you bug them. But they also understand that you're very gentle with them. You care a great deal about them. But... It's like no matter what, it's like if they, it's like if they, whatever they get, they could give you with the pentacle, 
or whatever, like, well, the dude's only giving them one pentacle, so it seems like every time you give them a pentacle, it's like a bait and switch, there's a catch, there's always something that they gotta deal with, right? And they just want you to hold them like a little lizard and be like, I want you to protect me and love me and shit. You know? I think this person really loves you, but they, they, they can't tell that you love them. Which is weird, Leo, because you guys are like have really big hearts and like you like to cuddle. His mind likes to cuddle and he's always warm. Alright. Fears or rejections, right? We got the King of Pentacles is giving bullshit. Could be a provider of sorts. And the bullshit that they give just gonna bite him in the ass. It, it, like that shit's gonna it, like I don't know. Like someone uh, It's like setting themselves up. It's like they could give somebody a pentacle that could help buy them a sword, but as soon as they try to use that sword, the enemy, it breaks, and then they get pulled off of a horse, and it gets all jacked up. Mm. It's like this person doesn't know how to fight, so they just sabotage shit. Or they don't know how to verbalize their arguments, so they just sabotage shit in other way. Right? How shit comes full circle? Leo. Wanting to fight to the bitter end. Like, who cares who takes me out as long as I can take as many of you out as I can. And watching that wagon wheel leave as the door closes. Mm. Leo, I just want to say... I don't even think that like it, it I don't think there's a significant problem between you and your person except for reading each other's emotions and understanding where each is coming from it's just I think it's hard for you to express more than what it is that's going on right right but that's the reading I got for you guys so if you enjoyed this please like share and subscribe um, you ain't got to, but it definitely make me happy and feel very, very appreciated. But I will see you guys later. You all take it easy. I love your faces. Bye-bye.